a lot more standard. It's not so volatile, but in PvP, a lot of times, the person that's more aggressive is going to come out on top. We'll find out as we move over to Akalon Waste. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. A lot of times, it's, it's uh, difficult or, or harder to defensively micro because you have to have that quick reaction. And a lot of times, you know, someone can queue up commands to different places, uh, surprise you with different things, maybe you're not quite ready for them. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of times very hard unless you kind of have great scouting and great awareness on the map. We'll find out if Wong Sun wants to put on the pressure or Sage wants to put on the pressure. All right, who do you think? Who do you think is going to be the aggressive one? I think it's going to be Sage. I think Sage is it? I think okay. so. Huang Sin, this is a map where he loves to just like one gear fast expand. Okay. We'll find out. But he is uh, spawning in the bottom left hand corner, or bottom right hand corner of Akalon Waste. Yeah. His opponent to the top left hand corner. It is Roots Sage. Yeah, good times, good times. Root for root, baby. <laughs> I feel like um, both players are going to be very, very scared to get any sort of macro related build. Um, whoever, whichever side did the macro build has just lost, has just straight out got crushed the last two games, right? Mm -hmm. um, or at least the last game for sure. And the one before it was kind of a macro game. Um, or kind of like an offensive macro. But yeah, so I'll be really surprised if either of them goes for like a Nexus fairly early. Alright, we'll find out. I mean, Aqualon Waste, it's pretty. It's hard, but at the same time, it's defendable just because, you know. You can use your force shields pretty nicely. You have a ramp going down the natural. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's within their range to go for that fast nexus. But yeah, I do have to agree with the, I guess with the build orders that we've seen from the first two games, you're right. And guess what? Sage. Sage is being cheeky. This is the second pylon, though, that's being thrown down out there. Oh, wow. And the probe scout, oh my god, this is the juiciest probe scout ever. He's, he's three he on one. He should know it. He should know it, right? Yep, three on the other. Where's your second pylon? Now search for your second yep. the se second pylon, Wong Sin. He's, he's, did he look in all the edges? Oh, he's going to do it now. You've got to figure this out. It's like that second pylon, it's... Yeah, this is a very clear opening that it's going to be some sort of aggression. Uh, yep. Tech aggression, I should say, coming out of Sage. Probably going to be a Starport. starport. Alright. We both said Starport, it's Stargate. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. You no, know, it, yeah, it's... Stargate. It's okay, man. It's our Starcraft Brewer roots. We always say yep. Starport. Even though there's a Starport in Starcraft 2. Just like, that's what you did. Ever call, uh... War Prism Shuttles? Yes, I do that. You, you <laughs> call Twilight Citadels all the time. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that again. I, I don't... I don't hate it. If you guys don't know, Citadel... <laughs> It's called a Citadel of Doom. That used to be the old Twilight Council. Yep. Yep, yep. Good old, good old names. I would love there to be a Phoenix right away. I think this is going. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wong's in. Oh, is he going to scout this? Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that vision. God. Okay. Oh! oh! Did he see it? No. Oh, oh my God. Wong's in. <laughs> One what pixel, have you done? <laughs> what have you done? <sighs> Mistakes are made. <laughs> the coin flip gods. Why do they not like us? Oh, oh, oh hold on. Huang Sin. He still feels like there's going to be some sort of Stargate play. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Look at this. Saved in the top right hand corner. What is he doing? What? He's a sicko, <laughs> man. The double proxy? But, but. This this uh this one phoenix is gonna surprise the the oracle. This is gonna be game over, man. And the probe, God, <laughs> please, no and the, the phoenix. phoenix, no, running. no wrong way, phoenix. It's the wrong way. That okay. Was great probe movement, like he got them running away super quick. Oh man, oh. so odd probe died. Five probes. Ah. Uh, uh, don't don't do this to me, dark shrine. It's gonna it's, be it's a dark happening. shrine. It's happening. It has to be One a dark second, shrine. It's going up right now. Oh god. Did did that did that stalker go on the, the tower? Uh it must I'm, not have. No. But... It, well it did, it's out of range. Oh, just out of range of that tower. Just wow. out of range. This is so sick. This is so 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 sick. Uh three gateways going down here. 
This looks oh, like look just... Look what? Oh wait, that's, that's just the red probe. <laughs> Sorry. I just thought there was a probe heading towards the DT Shrine. Okay. Uh, a little bit of harassment being done. I like this, putting pressure on the uh, Mothership Core to begin with, just so that Photon Overcharge is going to be activated here. Dark Shrine, though. It is... It is just 40 seconds away from finishing. And this is getting a little bit hashtag dicey, Sean Shit Simon. But, oh but here's the attack. He can hold out and force the DTs in the main, so he sees them, might give uh, Huangsen enough time to defend it. Yep. He needs an Oracle. He needs an yep. Oracle ASAP. Yep. I think, uh, oh god. Four gates are a little, little scary. I think Huangsen's gonna lose this. I mean, Sage's done such a good job at just fending this off. Sage is just gonna put one DT for defense, one DT for aggression. That's right. And, uh, a little pro war there, but Huangsen won the pro war. Okay, the pawn cap. Oh no! The DT is still gonna. Oh my gosh, that's so sick. Oh, that was the closest thing. If Huangsen had just went that second quicker and, and managed to supply and cap him, that Oracle's on the way, but the DT's in his main. Oh, it's going for the pylon too. It's gonna be able to take out this pylon fast enough. Oh, well, maybe not. Sentry gonna be warped in here. I oh, like what we're sentry. seeing. Oh, the. Wow. Nice sentry. That is a really, really cool move right there. Warp gate saving him. And now he loses a lot more. Time warp gonna go to, or not time warp, uh, Envision gonna be used. That takes Nine out the Dark Temple. did die. Yep. Um, 19 to 27 economy wise. So Sage uh, really has the lead there. Killing, a, killing another pylon. Um, I don't know. I don't this know. Is, this is crazy. The one thing, if we look at the units tab though. Oh, wait, he lost all of his Phoenixes. He does have a Stalker advantage and he has that one Oracle, so it can help out. Mm -hmm. But Huangsen needs to be careful. Moving out like this is so, so dangerous because there could be a Dark Templar uh, backstab, but I like what we're seeing. There is an Oracle that's going to be made. Oh, there is a single Phoenix too. That works out really well. A DT is heading, but he sees it. Huangsen sees the little shadowy movement. Um. And he's just gonna follow it around. So Sage kind of delaying a little bit, um, but Hongsen seeing the little delaying tactic. But Blink, that's the big problem. It's already mm -hmm. at 80 seconds in. So once that Blink finishes, you're gonna have problems, Hongsen. Because then it's, well, obviously stalkers that can Blink against stalkers that cannot. Mm -hmm. And I like this, and next it's gonna be thrown down. Sage playing this so, so well. His decision making is out of this world. I mean, even with such a cost-inefficient build, he's able to do so much here. Now, if we look at the main of Sage, this is like a two-prong attack. We need that vision and vision sort of situation. That DT is getting kills. Two kills, three kills. But at the front, too, killing the pylons. He is. Uh, Boat's on overcharge. But Blink about to finish. He's not oh, paying no. attention. He needs to be so careful because that Oracle, if that dies, too, the game is over, but it looks like he just has way too many stalkers. Sage just outdoing his opponent at every turn. Huangsen not going to be able to do anything, and Sage will take the game beautifully played. Oh my gosh.